Hi. Uh, I had the pleasure of having the day off. I spent it with my daughter. You can hear that rattling sound. She's in her jumper right behind the camera. Um, but if you guys had the day off, I hope that you um, spent it any way you liked and rested or shopped or did something around the house or spent it with family, spent it in reflection, whatever you want to do on your MLK Day holiday, you do that. Um, for those of you who had to go to work, thank you so much for still keeping this world going. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video is a shopping haul, basically. Me and baby girl set out around 10 a.m. this morning and um, we just got home probably around 3.30. We were just out getting exercise, walking around, walking in and out of stores and stuff like that. Well, she was being rolled, being pushed. Um, so she was rolling around, but mommy was getting her exercise in. And I wanted to bring you guys a haul of some of the things that I picked up. So we went to Target and we went to Burlington. We went to some other stores too, but I didn't purchase anything out of those other stores. We were just looking. So um, we can start with Target. I went in there specifically to look at their Black, Hi Black History Month collection um, of apparel. So it looks as though there was a contest for college students. I think the, the, the students were at um, HBCUs, Historically Black College and Universities. I think it was a contest a design contest and the winners pieces were showcased and sold in Target so it's been all the rave for the last I don't know how long they've been in stores maybe a couple weeks I know I first saw them a couple weeks ago but I wanted to pick up all three of us some pieces but they have been selling out like hotcakes in the stores so I was in a different area um, this morning so I went in to see what they had unfortunately they didn't have anything for Ronnie and I um, in adult sizes um, that I particularly cared for but I did get these two onesies for baby girl this one is my favorite it has the continent of Africa on it and it just has like a lion an elephant um, stars moon water and trees and just different uh, buildings and structures and stuff like that I thought this was really cute and you can see that it is the black history month target line this is six to nine months and the, the this was seven dollars same thing for this one this one was also seven dollars um, I really really like this one as well it just has um, a bunch of kids faces with different um, uh, hairstyles and stuff on it I thought this was really cute this was also part of the black history line month collection so this was seven dollars as well i do know that they have a few coveralls or overall yeah i think you call them coveralls they're like the um the sleepers with the feet out so they're i think they call them coveralls those are ten dollars so i do see a couple online that i want to get her but i was going to tell you guys if you um don't know about the collection or you can't make it to target everything seems to be fully stocked online right now for ship for shipping so go ahead and order you some if you want some but i was specifically looking for you know the baby sizes so i picked those up that's why we went in there and then of course we had to sorry guys of course we had to just peruse the aisles of target because we don't get out much so that's what we did um so i purchased this stuff now if you've been following me on instagram if you don't you should my house underscore my home underscore um ryan and i are building what we like to call a home gym our own little version of a home gym so um we have a couple pieces of equipment in there we put down the black interlocking foam floor um we have a wireless like huge speaker in there we just purchased a tv a smart tv to put in there with a fire stick um he's going to pick up an exercise bike right now i'm on the hunt for an elliptical um and we have a refrigerator you know like one of the I don't know how to call it, like the hip height refrigerators that you used to use in college and stuff like that. So we have one of those in the basement that we're going to move into that space. And I was thinking that it would be nice to have some um, hand towels down there. So Target had these two in a pack. They were like $2.75, I think. And they had buy two, get one free. So they came out to like a dollar and some change or something like that. Um, so I got six just white ones. So I'm going to roll them up and put them in this little basket, this woven basket that came from the Target uh, Dollar Spot or Bullseye Playground. It is called the Rope Basket in Large, and this was $5. So I thought this would be cute to sit on top of the refrigerator, and the refrigerator is just going to have <laughs> this, the refrigerator just going to have all our water and whatever else we need down there, any um, like protein drinks or anything like that that needs to be refrigerated. We'll put that stuff down in there. So I picked that up from Target. Next thing I got 
or the next things I got was from Baby Girl. Baby Girl really lucked up today because she got basically everything. I mean, <laughs> with the exception of that and maybe like one other item, everything is for her. It's so hard to go in the store and not purchase for her. Um, and you would think Christmas was not just a few weeks ago. Okay, and the next item I picked up is the Johnson's Kids uh, Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner. This uh, has shea butter and it says it smooths frizzy hair and defines curls. Um, it is not a spray. I do have their uh, leave-in conditioner spray that I use after um, bath time with her and also when I just need to freshen her hair in the morning um, to moisturize it, to style it, I use that. But I saw this online and I've been meaning to pick it up and I keep forgetting every time I go on Target. So I did pick this up. This was $4.99. Um, but I like the um, leave-in conditioner spray from Johnson's, so I wanted to try this. I did come home and just try the front patch of her hair, and I really like the results of this. This says it doesn't have any of the bad stuff, no parabens, um, no sulfates, no dyes, any of that stuff. So I was happy to finally remember to pick this up. Also, while I was in there, baby girl is fastly approaching six months, so we are going to be making her baby food. And actually, we're gonna probably make it for the first time tonight live um, on maybe Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram um, tonight. So there's that. Um, and we'll be using the Baby Bullet um, line of materials for that. But I just wanted to have some things as a backup on hand, maybe some things at Nana's house just in case. Um, you know, one week we can't meal prep for her or, you know, I don't know. So I saw these starter kits, the My First Veggie starter kits from Gerber. This has two packages of carrots, two packages of green beans, and then two packages of sweet potatoes. This is for the supported sitter and it says First Foods. Um, there's not a lot of uh, options that I could get her from Target. I went in there seeing if they had any like snacks or small things and they really didn't have much for supportive sitter because she doesn't sit on her own yet. Um, so I got her the My First uh, Veggie Starter Kit from Gerber and then I also got her the My First Fruits um, Starter Kits and these were, I think they were $4.99, um, which is a good price because you're getting six um, jars of food. This has two jars of bananas, two jars of pears, and then two jars of apples. Same thing, supportive sitter, and this is um, approved for their first food. So um, maybe I'll take, you know, one of each and send it to Ronnie's mom's house and then I'll keep a couple um, in her diaper bag just in case, um, you know, we're on the go and, you know, we need something. Um, I also did pick up this from Target and this is the Beech Nut um, Naturals. This is butternut squash. So I did give her a little bit of this when we got home. She seemed to be okay with it. She's just still learning how to eat basically. So it's not like she's eating half the jar or anything, maybe just a couple spoons and then she wants her milk. So um, I picked this up. This is stage one naturals. I did give her a little bit of the beech nut naturals carrots um, last week and she did okay with that as well. I gave it to her two days just to see if she was ready, you know, to process food and she did fine. She didn't have any adverse reactions to it and I only gave her carrots because that's all my sister had on hand that was still stage one. So um, we gave her a little bit of that so she's ready and we're going to go ahead and make her baby food tonight. So that is what we picked up from Target. Like I said, we didn't get that much. Um, but I did wanted to show you guys that I had to go and run and grab her some um, Similac today while we were out because um, the breast pump that I had required it to be plugged into an outlet and there was no outlet in my car. Um, so I went and I bought her this ready, basically, um, ready to feed Similac. She usually, she does have the can of the, the blue, uh, Similac can of the powder formula. I didn't know that they made the ready to feed, uh, formula in a bottle like this. You have to use it within three days, it says, but this was good for when you're in a clutch. So I poured this in a bottle and homegirl drank it while we were in the car. And um, I just gave her another bottle of it because I do want to use it within the three days. Um, she is primarily breastfed, but sometimes like when I can't pump or, you know, whatever, we do keep Similac in her diaper bag, the powder kind. And um, I didn't know they made this. So if you're a new mom out there, they do make the on the go Similac. It's just like ready to feed. You can just pour it into a bottle. Um, so yeah, then we went into... Burlington and homegirl wrapped up again in Burlington. What do you know? Okay, so in Burlington, um, 
I do put rice cereal in her bottle at night now, and homegirl sleeps through the night. She wakes up around 7.30, um, sometimes 7 or 7.30, and she'll go to sleep anywhere between like 10 and like 11.30. So I thought that was pretty good for five months, but I do put the rice cereal in her last bottle at night, and I think that it helps. That and her nested bean weighted sleep sack definitely has helped. I can notice a difference. So I saw that they also make the oatmeal cereal. Um, like I said, she has the rice cereal that I put in her bottle at night. But this, um, I was going to start trying to give her in the mornings, mixing it in a bowl um, to see if she will eat it. And this is, again, for supported sitter. This was actually, they had this and the rice cereal at Burlington um, for $3.79. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, and this says it's single grain cereal and it says oatmeal. So we're going to see if she'll like it. I think I've seen people mix a little bit of, I think I've seen people mix a little bit of like maybe apples or bananas, the baby bananas or baby apples in this. Um, but I haven't introduced fruits to her yet because I'm trying to introduce the veggies first to get her to actually eat the veggies and like it before she um, tastes the, the sweetness of the fruit. But I have seen people do that. So once she is introduced to the fruits, maybe I'll mix a little bit of banana or a little bit of apple or something like that, pear or something in with her cereal in the morning. And she can have this with, you know, her bottle. So I did get that from Burlington for $3.79. Also to go with our home gym, we have... Um, a heavyweight box, boxing bag, and also a speed bag. Um, and Ronnie has tons of wraps and boxing gloves, but of course I need a pair. So they did have these um, Everlast brand, and this is the same brand as our boxing bags in the gym. So I got the pink um, hand wraps. I'm on the hunt for the pink boxing gloves. I always see them in raw, so I know I'll find them eventually. Um, they usually sell them for 10 or $12, so I'll pick those up. Um, but I, I rarely ever see the pink wrap. So I went ahead and got this from Burlington today, and it was only $2.99. Um, and then moving on, everything else is for baby girl. <laughs> I got her some um, Disney Baby um, Minnie Mouse sneakers, and they're so cute. They're like white leather, and they have a little bit of white patent leather. And also like some gold, or maybe that's rose gold. It's so pretty. And then the mini um, emblem on the front. They're so cute. These are in size 3, which is um, 6 to 9 months. And these were $6.99 at Burlington. So I picked those up for her. I also picked up this pair, and we tried them on when she got home. So that's why they're not on the, the um, tag thing. But these are really cute. These are like some high top Minnie Mouse sneakers and they have pink polka dots and pink shoestrings and Minnie is on the side of them. These were $5.99 as well, size 3, 6 to 9 months from um, the Disney brand and these were also from Burlington. So I got her those. And then her last pair of shoes I got her. You guys know I love to see her in these little moccasins. They're, they sell these at Ross a lot. She's had them in gold and black and silver. So these are like a muted kind of like pink with gold color. Um, these were also $5.99, size three, and these are by the brand First Step. So I got these from Burlington as well. So she got those three things. And then the rest are clothes for baby girls. So I'm gonna try to go through this pretty quickly. So the first outfit is this Minnie Mouse overalls outfit. It's so cute, I really love it. It's gray and the shirt is striped with gray and white with Minnie Mouse on it and it says Minnie Mouse. And black and white writing. I thought this was really cute and this will be really cute to pair with some sneakers. Um, I also bought her this Minnie Mouse outfit. It has the leggings but the leggings have the Minnie's bows on the knees and then it has a red hoodie with Minnie Mouse across it. So I thought this was cute and the hoodie is actually really thick so I thought that was really cute for her. You guys know I love a good uh, sleeper with a matching accessory. So they had this one, which is really cute, it's black and pink. This was $6.99, and it has the matching hat. So she'll probably wear one of these tonight um, after bath time. Um, I love everything Nicole Miller. She just has some of the cutest things. So I thought this coral color was so pretty, and it has the matching um, headband to it. She had a couple of uh, these types when she was a lot younger, I think, in the... Was it zero to three maybe size? And they were so, so cute. So I got her this one. This one is only $5.99. And then I also got her this one. This is by the brand Catherine um, Malandrino. Really, really cute. 
This was $6.99 and this also comes with a hat, but I just love the ruffles on the sleeves, so cute. So I got her that one. This outfit was adorable, I love the jacket. So it comes with the pants, all this stuff is six to nine months, but it comes with some floral leggings, it comes with a shirt, and then it comes with like this um, khaki jacket in this green color and it's so cute. It has like a tie right here and the um, buttons are rhinestone. This was $15.99. Um, but I thought it was so cute. So, yeah, she be styling and profiling and going to Nana's house, y'all. And then the last thing that I got her was this cute. She doesn't really have anything blue because, you know, most girly stuff is pink and purple and stuff like that and green. So, I got her this one. This is also by Nicole Miller. It's so pretty. And it has the matching headband, of course. So, yeah, that's for our haul today. That's all we bought. And we just walked stores and got some exercise. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you are interested in the Black History Month collection from Target, go run and get you some stuff now, whether it be in the store or online because it is selling. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. And make sure you join the live session tonight while we make her baby food for the first time um, in front of you guys. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later.